Now with some insight into all of this, let's bring in John Dickerson, our CBS News political director and, of course, the moderator of Face the Nation. John, this lack of information around Hillary Clinton's health, it, it goes to a broader issue of transparency. That's right. These kinds of moments give you some sense of the habits of openness of a campaign, and that's important because it tells you how open they might be in a White House. Hillary Clinton already had a strike against her with the email server outside of the State Department system, not transparent. Then she deleted some emails, not transparent either. But campaigns offer other ways in which transparency is tested. There are certain demands of a campaign. Do you turn over your tax returns? Do you turn over your medical records. Hillary Clinton has done that. She's done more on the medical records than Donald Trump, and she's turned over her tax returns. He's done nothing with tax returns and very little on health, and so the question with him is, if he's not transparent in a campaign, how transparent will he be as president? Now, we just saw Major Garrett's story. What happens going forward with this deplorable comment of hers? It's a tug of war. Right now, Hillary Clinton is on the defensive. Donald Trump would like that comment to mean all of his supporters suggest that she's disdainful of working people, and it's just an unappealing thing to be tagged with. Hillary Clinton would like that comment to really be about Donald Trump and point out that he said derogatory things about women, that even Paul Ryan, the Speaker of the House, has called him out for making racist comments, and that his ban, temporary ban on Muslims, is Islamophobic. Depending on who wins that tug of war, that'll determine whether those comments hurt or help Hillary Clinton. John Dickerson will be watching Face the Nation on Sunday. Thank you, John. Thanks.